I, I just provide with few details about the summer school and the program. And also I provided some details about the logistics facility, the building where we are, just to provide the student with an overview of, you know, what are we do in Verona, where they will be. And the first thing that I noticed last year is that uh, how where is Verona? <laughs> because, uh, of course, it's in Europe. Uh, this is Italy, uh, which is in Southern Europe, and Verona is located, and Cartney can, can tell because she was there. Uh, it's uh, between Milan and Venice, so it's one hour and a half by train or car uh, from Venice and Milan. So it's also a strategic hub to get uh, to move uh, to Italy, uh, to other cities, and also to Europe. And in Verona, we will host the summer uh, school program in this building, which is uh, Santa Marta, which means Saint Marta. And it was an, an ancient building that was renovated. It's entirely dedicated to our economics and business campus. And um, the summer school was uh, here at the second floor, and it, it might be in the second floor, which is the um, the location of our department too. So we belong to the Department of Management and we are pretty much 60 colleagues and we do research uh, ranging from marketing, supply chain, tourism, accounting, finance, international business and many other topics. So this is just, you know, to provide you with the, the, the overview. And also here, I can leave you, if I can, uh, if it does work, uh, video uh, uh, here just you know to uh, to give you the overview of the what you are going to experience in our building and the atmosphere which is kind of different I think yeah yeah Oh, this is real. It's not like simulation. No, this no, is real. Oh my god, it's <laughs> incredible. Like, this is how you guys will be studying, like, in the university. Mm -hmm. so. oh, nice. It's like ultra modern, inside ultra old. <laughs> Can I join a bunch of these real quick? <laughs> Yeah, I think this, you know, tests more than what I'm telling, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. in terms of the atmosphere and, and maybe, you know, the very uh, ancient tradition that is, uh, that you can find also in, in the city of Verona, which is a Roman city. And so it's very ancient. Um, Just go back to the presentation here. Um, let me check. Okay. Yeah, just to give you some numbers, uh, our uh, the universities in Italy, most of the universities are public university, and the same it works for University of Verona, which is considered a medium university, counting twenty two thousand students and one thousand five hundred staff, including lecturers, researcher, and the technical staff. Um, uh, we have different uh, disciplines, not only our department, which belong to the 
um, law and economics area, but also we have uh, four depart uh, three departments for humanities disciplines, and three departments for law and economics, and also four departments in life and health sciences, and three departments for science and engineering. So you will find a wider range also for students that maybe want also to do other classes. They can uh, beyond the summer school. They can also uh, see if there are other uh, disciplines that are interested for them. And we also have other um, collaborations uh, with other departments. Uh, the Department of Management, as I said, it's uh, um, constituted by 60 academics. Also, we have uh, five, five, six uh, staff uh, um, personnel. And um, as we see also from the um, provisional timetable for the summer school, uh, we cover several research areas. Uh, including supply chain and logistics, marketing, which is, you know, the deep disciplines that I I do research, <laughs> but also you will see colleagues from the finance field, from the international business field, agri-food business researchers, and many others. Um, regarding um, the summer school, here is, there are some information, but then if you have any other questions, um, open to answer to all of them. Uh, it's not new. It has been established, I think, since 2017. Uh, every year it hosts more or less up to 20 students uh, in the past before the pandemic. Uh, we used to have 20 people in, in class. Uh, last year there were fewer, but uh, I hope next year there will be uh, more students. Um, it covers a program of four weeks. Uh, mainly the mornings, so it's from Monday to Thursday, more or less, and we will discuss about different topics. We will start with a, a, a module related to doing business in Italy with a particular focus on logistics and, and marketing, and then in the second the third week, they will focus more international business, uh, closing with a fourth week, uh, which is more focused on corporate finance and also sustainability. Of course, it's a provisional timetable because I will really need to check the availability of my colleagues. But uh, uh, we can guarantee also keep we can be also flexible based on the students' request or if you have other requests. Uh, we we do not only have uh, um, lectures in class. We also organize company visits uh, that are also included. Uh, last year we did uh, three or four visits. If I'm remember well. And also we are supported by the um, International Student Union that also organize social events for the students uh, to better know the Italian culture, uh, cuisine, life, and, and, and I know they, they had fun uh, last year. Uh, together with the UNF students, we also uh, we select um, a few Italian students uh, that uh, can um, attend the cl our classes, and this is also in the with the aim to enrich the international debate and exchange in class. And I also know that uh, the Italian student that came, that attended this year in 2023, one of them went to visit the UNF student during the summer. So it's going to be a very uh, an exchange that is going to last also for the for the other you know when, when the summer school is finished. Um, this is um, a timetable, provisional timetable, and we know uh, based on. Uh, your request, uh, we will start uh, in, on May the 13th uh, next year. And so here it is the provisional program of the four weeks. Um, these are the topics that we cover in 2023 this year. But of course, I will update you if you have any other Mm, request or needs. Um, usually, uh, what we follow was the pro. Um, since we started the, this collaboration, to have um, some credits for doing business in Italy, for uh, some credits for international business, because UNF will get recognized some credits. 
uh, at the end of this um, summer school, uh, students will be requested to, um, to provide an essay to me and we will evaluate them. And based on their essay, they will receive a mark and we will send to UNF. Uh, so you can have both the essay and the mark and you can recognize these credits to the, to the students. Uh, for the lodging and the other housing and other services, as we had last year, uh, the we have this co the coordinator of uh, ISU that will uh, book the lodging, the social events, the transfer to the company visit. So we have these services uh, that are guaranteed. And based on where we will go, uh, it will uh, provide you with also these kind of activities. I I think it will do that once we know how many people uh, there will be, and it could be at the beginning of 2024, more or less. These are some uh, pictures of, of uh, to, um, summer school. 2023. So here we were in class the first day. This is me. Uh, here we have uh, our um, uh, department director, and these are the students. And here, uh, UNF student during a company visit, we went to visit Calcedonia, which is the uh, a fashion uh, company, a very uh, a huge fashion company, which is a competitor of Victoria's Secret, just to name you no know, one competitor. And so they had also fun uh, doing uh, company visits. Um, here, some feedbacks from UNF students that you can show to, uh, to the students. I don't know if here we have audio here. Should be. Thank you. No, we can't hear. I think that's also it's on on our Instagram too. For oh. some reason, yeah. If you guys check that out, I think I sent to you. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. Okay. So if you have, I I don't know. Do you want me to try to fix the the audio or? That's okay. Check. I think it's okay. Okay. Thank you. And so they can they can you know listen to them and also. Uh, they can provide some feedbacks. Mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, I I don't think we need to go into the details of each week, but I will uh, send to you the summer school program of 2023 just to provide you with an overview of what we do. Here are the names of the professors. Also, this just, you know, uh, it's not a, a final program, but... Uh, of course, there will be me <laughs> and also my colleagues that focus on supply chain and logistics. And here you can see that we organized a business visit to the Interporto, which it is the most important freight village in Europe. So they saw all the uh, freight, uh, transportation, the railway station, and it was a very interesting visit for them also to understand how you, the, the, the freight transportation works in Italy, how it's organized with you know multimodal transportation, not only um not only by uh also by not only by car but also by uh by train um so here you can share with them this just let them know that it's not uh the, two, the 2024 program but uh it might be organized like this program these are my contacts, so if they need any other information, this is my email, and we can also share my uh, LinkedIn, where I update with activities with you, and this is also the link to our department in English and the LinkedIn of our, my department, so they can follow what, what we do as well. So this is uh, in a nutshell, <laughs> the overview of my university, my department, and the about the summer school. So if you have any other questions, I'm here. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. What questions do you guys have? 
I had one about um, if it's possible to do an internship abroad or would I have to like, plus it kind of goes in with, um, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> I probably will not be able to learn it by May. Um, so how, I guess I don't want to say hard is the language barrier, but would it be possible or is that kind of like a deterrent for doing an internship if it's even possible? Mm -hmm. So uh, during the four week, uh, I think uh, as you have to be in class to get, you know, these credits, I don't think you will need also, you will be able to do an internship. But if you stay there longer, mm -hmm. uh, we have this uh, international internship and worldwide studies that combine the two, the two things. And I can send you all the details and I can also ask um, uh, the internship uh, office to let you know, but uh, I don't think English is a barrier <laughs> because uh, it, Italian is a barrier, uh, but our uh, the, the, there are many terms that can speak uh, uh, English, so why not? I'm for it, but uh, I need to better understand, you know, how long you will be there and how long you want uh, that this internship will last, just mm -hmm. to be sure that there are some, you know, how internship long it takes. Research. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, I will ask to to the internship program office. That would be one. Thank you. Know. Yeah. Sure. Do you guys have any other questions about the program or Verona? Anything? The dorms or oh, anything you guys want to ask? Will they still be in the same apartments as last year? Okay. Yes, usually they select that uh, that building because it's close by the university. It's five minutes by walk, and based on the number of students, usually they book uh, an, a number of apartments. Last year there were five, so they will uh, all in the same apartment. But if you are more, they will also uh, select uh, more than one apartment, uh, and you will go, you know, maybe female and males or something like this. Um, so were there dates shown on there um, from last year or are those this year's dates? Uh, it's uh, uh, 2023, so this May, the May that oh, we okay. just... So last, last year, it, yeah, yeah. in 2022, uh, we didn't do the summer school because we still have uh, COVID uh, constraints, visa issues, okay. because you need to do, you know, all the test to come here so it was not very good <laughs> okay so our semester i think graduation is may 3rd and then classes start there may 13th okay, okay. gotcha so we'll have like a week of break and then right. i thought our classes ended the fifth like no classes the last week of exams like the exams end on the third graduations on the third okay God. you guys want to see with her how would class would work is it monday to friday yeah i live on campus so i'm thinking about like how logistically how i would move everything out and then like go gotcha i gotcha yeah probably yeah you want to see with her like how would classes work like is it normally monday to friday morning and afternoon uh, usually what you work for the previous uh, summer school, um, we try to organize the classes from Monday to Thursday mornings. So the afternoon are free to get around, you know, to visit other things. And we keep Friday, Saturday and Sunday free because we noticed that also the students want to travel, of course. And so they have three days to get a plane, go to London, get a plane, get a train, go to Rome and, and other, you know, activities that they can do during the weekend. So we try to balance this and put all the classes at the beginning of the week. But they'll still have like homework to do and stuff, right? Like no, there, there's no oh. homework, but uh, I will give them an, an assignment. And uh, once the summer school is finished, I will give uh, you, I don't know, two, three weeks to prepare. So once you are back home, you have also the time to prepare these assignments. You don't have, of course, if you have, you know, this afternoon free and you don't have nothing to do, you can start there, but you have enough time to, to do that also when you are at home. 
So do you do the business visits Monday through Thursday too? Pardon? Are the, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> are the company visits on Monday through Thursday too? Usually we organize them on uh, Thursday uh, afternoon after the class, okay. but they are not uh, every Thursday. So um, based on their availability, but yes, we try to do that in order that to 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 give them the the weekend free. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. We appreciate. It's so uh, good to for see this you. opportunity. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. you are all invited to Verona. Also, <laughs> Monique.